Beneath the quiet streets of Arlington Heights, Illinois, engineers are carving out a new frontier. A stadium so massive and so complex that part of it will likely sit below ground. What most fans will never see is the colossal excavation that makes it possible. This isn't just a sports venue. It's a hidden engineering marvel being built from the ground down. Imagine excavating beneath a suburban landscape, carving a cavern capable of holding tens of thousands of fans, then placing a full-scale NFL stadium on top. That's exactly what engineers are preparing to do for the Chicago Bears' new home. A fully enclosed, next-generation NFL stadium rising from the site of the former Arlington Park racetrack, complete with advanced foundation systems, seismic-rated MSE walls, and the potential for underground parking below the playing field. This is a mega-scale excavation in one of America's most challenging soil environments, a site with soft glacial deposits in a notoriously high water table. And to make it all work, engineers will have to build down before they can build up. The Chicago Bears' proposed stadium is more than a venue. It's the centerpiece of a $10.9 billion redevelopment that could redefine the Chicago suburbs. The stadium itself is projected to cost around $6.6 .6 billion, with another $4.3 billion devoted to surrounding mixed-use developments, including retail, hotels, offices, and residential spaces. The facility is expected to hold around 60,000 fans, fully enclosed under a translucent dome that allows natural light to flood the interior, similar to the other next-generation NFL arenas like SoFi Stadium and Allegiant Stadium. Facing east toward downtown Chicago, the stadium's sweeping glass facade is designed as a symbolic link between the Bears' new suburban home and the city skyline they've long called home. But beneath that iconic exterior lies one of the largest excavation projects in Illinois' history. The Arlington Heights site spans roughly 326 acres, formerly home to the Arlington International Racecourse. On the surface, it's an ideal location. Open land, existing transportation infrastructure, and direct access to metro rail lines. Below the surface, however, lies the real challenge. The site's geology consists of layers of clay, sand, and glacial till, typical of the Chicago Basin. These materials shift under load, meaning any large structure, especially one the size of an NFL stadium, requires deep foundation systems and soil stabilization before construction can even begin. Because of this, engineers are planning an extensive excavation phase, potentially involving millions of cubic yards of soil removal, though final figures have not yet been made public. The excavation will make room for utilities, sub-foundations, and potentially multi-level underground parking, which would sit directly beneath the stadium bowl, freeing up surface area for public plazas and green spaces. To understand the scale of what's being planned, it helps to compare this project to SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, one of the deepest and most complex stadium excavations ever undertaken. SoFi's construction required excavating more than 7 million cubic yards of soil, digging nearly 100 feet below ground level to comply with Federal Aviation Administration height restrictions due to nearby LAX. It's massive, mechanical mechanically stabilized earth MSE walls among the tallest on earth used over 5,000 miles of reinforcing steel strips, forming a structural bowl that could withstand both seismic movement and soil pressure. The Chicago Bears Stadium will not require such extreme depth. FAA height limits don't apply here, but Arlington Heights presents its own unique complications. Instead of earthquakes, engineers must contend with water intrusion, soil settlement, and frost-related heaving, all of which can under undermine foundations if not properly managed. To stabilize the ground, engineers will likely employ deep foundation piles, dewatering systems, and reinforced retaining walls. Technologies proven on large infrastructure projects across the Midwest. 
While the Bears have not yet released detailed construction schematics, engineers will likely adopt techniques similar to those used in large urban projects, where high groundwater and soft soils meet heavy load requirements. This could include secant pile walls to form watertight excavation enclosures, sub-slab drainage and sump systems to relieve hydrostatic pressure, corrosion-resistant MSE wall systems using galvanized or polymer-coated steel reinforcements, and mass concrete mat foundations, spreading loads across large surface areas. If underground parking is confirmed, engineers will have to design reinforced concrete decks that resist both downward loads from the stadium and upward buoyancy from groundwater. In practical terms, this means building a waterproof concrete box beneath the structure, one capable of withstanding both the weight of 60,000 fans and the hydrostatic forces pushing up from below. But the stadium isn't the only component requiring deep groundwork. The broader Arlington Park redevelopment will include road realignments, pedestrian infrastructure, and new utilities capable of supporting a small city's worth of visitors. To accommodate game day crowds and minimize traffic impact, engineers are coordinating with METRA and IDOT on expanded rail and highway access, potentially including new pedestrian connections and transit hubs. Every element, from stormwater retention basins to underground electrical systems, adds another layer of complexity beneath the surface. Large-scale excavation also brings environmental considerations. The high water table around Arlington Heights means constant monitoring during construction to prevent site flooding or subsidence. Dewatering systems will likely run 24-7, redirecting groundwater safely away from active work zones. Meanwhile, engineers will need to protect surrounding neighborhoods from vibration, dust, and runoff during the years-long construction phase. Once complete, however, the project promises a major economic and environmental boost, potentially creating tens of thousands of jobs and introducing green infrastructure like permeable surfaces energy-efficient design, and public green space atop former parking lots. If approved and fully funded, construction could begin within the next few years, with a possible opening targeted in the early 2030s. By then, Arlington Heights will look entirely different, transformed from a quiet suburban racetrack into a new sports and entertainment hub for the Midwest. And while most fans will admire the dome, the skyline, and the roar of the crowd, few will ever realize what lies below. The thousands of tons of reinforced concrete the walls holding back earth and water, and the years of geotechnical innovation buried beneath the field. When the Chicago Bears finally take the field in their new home, what fans will see is a shimmering dome of glass and steel. But what they won't see is the true marvel. Beneath the turf lies a fortress of engineering, a structure designed to resist groundwater, hold back shifting soils, and carry the weight of a modern NFL empire. Like SoFi before it, the Bears' new home won't just be a stadium. It'll be a symbol of innovation, ambition, and the future of sports architecture. Because the real story of this stadium isn't in its roof line or its luxury suites. It's written in the concrete foundations buried deep below Arlington Heights.